Hello everyone and welcome back. In one of my recent videos on how to compile a sprite, the request came up if I could make a video on compiling armor paint. And that's what we are here for today. So in the next 3 minutes or so, I'm taking you from source code to executable. But of course, if you enjoy this software or don't want to go through the trouble of compiling it, you can also buy armor paint on Gumroad and support the developers. Also, if you enjoy my content, maybe consider subscribing and liking to help me making more videos just like this one. And with that being said, let's get right to it. I'll be using Windows in this video and I would suggest you search for another video if you're on Linux or Mac because the process is quite different. First, make sure you have Node.js, Git and Visual Studio with the desktop development with C++ workload installed. Then go ahead and open a terminal and move to a directory of your choice. I have a folder called compile to compile programs in. Next, clone the git repository with the recursive flag. Also, all commands will be in the video description. Once it's finished, cd into the armor paint folder you have just downloaded and run this node command. We now have to open an explorer window in the armor paint folder, which we can easily do by running explorer.exe space dot. Then move to armor core, v8, libraries, win32, release. Right click and extract here on the zip folder or just extract the .lib file contained in the zip file into the release folder. Back in the terminal, move into armor core using cd armor core and run this git command, followed by this node command. You can now close the terminal and go to the build folder inside the armor core folder in the explorer window you opened previously. Here, just double click the .sln file and open it in Visual Studio. Select Release and x64 in the top toolbar and click Build and then Build Solution. After some time you should see one successful build in the build output. Then you can go into the Armor Core Build x64 release folder and copy the chrome.exe file. Go back to the root armor paint folder and move into the build chrome folder and paste the executable. You can now try to run armor paint by double clicking on chrome.exe. If you've done everything right, all should work as expected. You could now also copy the chrome folder somewhere else, create shortcuts and so on. I hope I could help you and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Until then, see you next time.